I was 12 years old when I moved to East End. Of course, I was terrified. I was born in Saskatchewan. I thought I knew the prairie. This was different. It seemed to be the epitome of isolation. Even the roads were as wide and empty as the sky above. I soon realized that I was wrong. East End was certainly not empty. We arrived in October. November brought snow, and snow brought white-tailed deer to town. I had never seen one up close before. Imagine my surprise when I looked out the kitchen window one morning and saw a whole herd of them walking down the street. After pinching myself to make sure I was actually awake, I counted them. Thirty deer. A car drove by, but the deer were not interested in it. It seemed as if they had commandeered the entire street for their own mysterious purpose. Later, I learned that they came into town to escape the terribly cold prairie wind. Deer were not the only animals I shared my new home with. Every day brought new sights. An eagle on a fence post, a rabbit in the yard, or, rarely, an adult moose. Even if I couldn't see them, I could always hear frogs, crickets, and songbirds. At night, coyotes haunted the hills, their forlorn howls echoing through the coolies. But I was still a city kid at heart. I was out of my element. East End brought many new challenges. I learned to ride a dirt bike through the rolling hills. I helped wrestle calves at a friend's branding. We hiked at historic Chimney Coulee. When it was too hot to do anything else, we fished, in the river or at the dam. Every summer was a learning process. I became involved in town affairs. Today, I volunteer at the observatory as a tour guide and work at the East End Historical Museum. East End's open skies and rich history are two of its greatest assets. Still, it took many years before I truly learned to appreciate the beauty and vitality of the Cypress Hills. I don't know when that change occurred. Maybe it was the first time I turned my eyes to the dancing green and blue ribbons of the Northern Lights. Maybe it was the first time I saw the hills in spring, wrapped in a blanket of rich green hues and practically vibrating with energy. But it started, I think, with the sleepy realization that my town was playing billet to an army of deer. When I look at East End today, I see an emerald jewel nestled in the hills, surrounded by nature. This valley is sometimes known as the Valley of Hidden Secrets. This is for good reason. When I first came here, I saw an empty town and empty prospects. But underneath the sleepy veneer, there are natural treasures. I just had to learn how to look for them.